Hello everybody and welcome back to Gardens and Crystals with me, Wesley Peterson, and today I have a Raid in the Rack video for you, and I came home with some lovely plants, the same one, but in different pots, and it's something I've been looking for for quite a while, so I'm so excited once again, let me show you what I've got. So this is the plant I got today. If I bring it in a bit closer, you can see what I got. Look at this beautiful, beautiful plant. Aren't those leaves lovely? And look at this, they go on and on and on. I have a whole jungle again. This one's a little bit wrapped up still. This is Skindaptus Moonlight. And I haven't been able to find this anywhere. Then all of a sudden I saw it and I just had to get me some examples because I have a very high three meter stake that I want to have these vining up straight away because I have some maintenance to do. So when I saw these, I was just over the moon. I mean, they're a good, ooh, this one's a good meter long and these ones are probably half a meter if I, when I start unwrapping them a bit more. So plenty of plant here to put around this wonderful stake that I'm going to be using them on and letting them grow up and flush out and vine around the walls. Now, I think this is a plant that grows really, really fast. Like many of these skindapsis, the different varieties, they grow very fast, they're low maintenance, they don't need bright, bright light, but they do like bright indirect light if you want to get the best results, but they can be in a shady place, never bright direct sunlight, never. That will burn their leaves. Let them dry out between waterings and they will be good to go for you and they will just keep producing and you can let them grow out. You can prune them and propagate them and make new plants. They're just beautiful. Now, I just want to bring one of them closer. I think this one here so that you can have a closer look at the leaves in the top so that you can really appreciate the beauty of this plant. Now look at those leaves. Now don't worry about some of them being browning and battered and bruised and all sorts of stuff. I can prune odd leaves off and it will just flush out more new leaves. These plants were quite closely grouped together there where I found them. People had obviously been picking them up, taking them in and out and checking them out, putting them back down, and all that is damaging the leaves, of course. The transport from wherever they came from to the garden center being tightly packed and then on and yep, yeah, and now here in my apartment in Sweden. So this is gorgeous. Have a closer, closer look. And you can see why it's called Moonlight due to those lovely silver tones in those leaves. They are just amazing. So this is going to be beautiful when allowed to grow high up onto a stake. There's a lot going on here. I was just so glad I found these beauties. So that's all I have for you for this Raid in the Rack video. And as you can hear, there will be a repotting and staking video coming up soon with this plant. So look out for that too. So all that's left for me to say now is thank you very much once again for watching Gardens and Crystals with me, Wesley Peterson. Please remember to like, subscribe and hit the bell so you know when my next video will be uploaded. And I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.